Sydney Tetro of the Women's Tech Council is here today, and we're talking about rocket launching. Sid, I love that we're doing this today. You said I'm building a rocket with you? Yeah, why not? Why not? Girls can do these things. That's right. Exactly. And it's super fun. And it's super fun to do. Okay. Right, because we're always thinking about the thing that we've learned is that your curiosity and like your imagination, when you like start building something, they just change the way you see about things. Yes, they do. And so the more that we can create hands-on experiences and then match that with like mentors and role models, the more opportunities girls have to go into things that we care a lot about, like STEM. I know, we've been looking at all the space stuff. We were looking at the um, Percy, the rover on Mars. Exactly. Now. Saray was showing us video of when that happened. It's and so amazing. It's, I think it's just so fun to watch and see, but now we can do stuff and, and sort of emulate some of the things going on on Mars. Exactly, and we were thinking about, not, just not just the rockets, but one of the women who's speaking at an upcoming conference, she spent 30 years at NASA helping get that rover on Mars, Perseverance. Really? And so you like think about, oh wait, that's the path she took. And then you think about what you can create and just how all of that builds together. All right, so show okay. me what we're doing here. Yep, so these are really simple rockets, right? They're not the most complex ones, but they're super but fun. Let's start simple, Sid. But, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, so we assembled a little bit, but right, basically you've got you know the main part of your rocket here, Okay. right? And you've got the top of it, Okay. right? Which ultimately is just gonna come together Easy. like this. But the really cool part is actually building the engine. Because when you put the engine in, this is what you actually like. So this you is the power. That's right, exactly. This is what launches it. These ones go about 1,100 feet in the air. Oh, where do you get this thing? What, this is the engine. This, this thing is, is the, this engine. the engine. All right. So th these engines, we actually bought the engines at Hobby Lobby because we needed a lot. We have like 100 of them. All right. But these are the engines. And so what you're going to do is you've got the bottom part of the rocket here. So I want and you do I put that part on the bottom? Mm -hmm. So I want okay. you to put this with the open end on the bottom. And you should be able to get the two parts around um, around it, just like this. Wait, am I doing it correctly? Like, um, yep, oh, yep. So watch, drop it down just a tiny bit. Go this way, right there. Oh, so that it, way. Sits okay. in the, it sits right there. Okay. And then you've got this attachment right here that you're going to make it all stay together. So, oops, this way. Exactly. So now we've got our engine that's inside of here, which is really going to become the bottom part of the rocket. All right. Um, and then what you've got here, if you look right there, you've got basically, this becomes the connector because this is going to conduct the batteries. It basically is going to take, it takes four AA batteries and all the power from them is required to launch even just this little tiny rocket. Okay. So what you do is you basically shove this into the bottom of that engine. And then you've got How this. How you do that? You just, oh, you just should, the two little guys. Just okay. the two little guys, like put them all, all the way in there so they're basically making contact. And then you've got this little tiny yellow, basically, cap. And you're going to shove your little yellow cap into that hole right oh, wait, there. Oh, wait, so uh, you, did you put that one in? in yes, the bottom? Okay, over. flip it over. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Flip it over, and then you basically, you're just going to look like this. Put the little yellow cap in the bottom of it, like that. All right. And basically, that's just going to make it so that you can conduct the, take the, 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 the current basically from this battery pack and it will launch. We don't get to launch it in here. I'm we sorry to oh tell no, you. that's what I wanted to see that yeah, part. Me too, but they told me we could not do that. The okay. fire extinguisher wasn't was in I know, because it's a <laughs> rocket, actually. Exactly. And so then you okay, so basically that's the bottom of that. If we were going to launch this for um, for real, right, we would end up creating this attachment here and it would be ready to go. That goes on here? Exactly. And oh, I even brought fun. some stickers that you could do. But the one really cool last step is so you see the launch, this is basically the trigger. So you've oh, got Oh, how here. fun. This is the three, two, one button. Exactly. This is the three, two, one. <laughs> and it sits on this. We have this. lift off. That's right. It sits on this, right, which is really going to help you figure out where it launches to. Looks really official. And you take those two ends and you basically clip basically the battery to those. And then when you hit the button, it would it go up. It will launch. It would go up. Yep. This wasn't that hard to do, Sid. It was not that hard. But it's just super fun to like build it and then you can relaunch these multiple times. You just need the engine again, exactly. right? Exactly. You just do the engine and new batteries and it launches again. So where do I get all this stuff if I so want to do this? So we actually bought these ones on Amazon. Okay. We're launching them with a whole bunch of the high school girls this weekend when they make look them. Look at how fun. Okay, so we're seeing video of what yes. it would look like if you really wanted to launch it. Exactly. You take these launch pads out there, you launch. But you can see like the burn marks on the bottom of your launch pad. Oh, so these have been, it's been launched. It's been launched. And you can just send them up into the air. You go find them. You actually put a parachute in the top so that it like comes back down. So we can find it. Exactly, we can find it. We've lost a couple, to be uh -huh, honest. Right, <laughs> I know, still. because sometimes they go far. Exactly. 
But it's so amazing, just even in this short interaction, where it's like, oh, imagine the possibilities oh, of what tech creates for you. It expands your mind. It expands your mind. It makes you more curious. And then when you align that with mentors, you see how you can step into those roles. All those possibilities. All right, there is a she tech event coming there up. There is. So all you know, parents, teachers, students, it's for high school girls, 9th through 12th grade. The big summit's on April 21st. We usually have about 3,000 high school girls that participate. And we have women like um, one of the women who helped get Perseverance on Mars. We have executives from Amazon and Estee Lauder and all of these cool women who those really mentors. show you. That's right. That's so They show wonderful. you the possibility. So all those free free women unite. SheTechExplorer.com. That's how you can find more information. I, like, I feel like I'm a rocket scientist now. You are. And we should go back and launch them. <laughs> After we have a bite of the bananas, <laughs> That's right? right. After we'll we'll do, do that and then go, go launch them. Thanks so much, Sid. Thanks. All right, coming up next, a local woman committed to helping our homeless community, Bri. Then after the bacon, maybe a little bit of, or after the bananas, maybe a little bit of bacon. It's not just for breakfast anymore. See why lacing up your shoes could have you aching for bacon. The next hour, Easter decorations.